Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you a little bit about texture painting. So we're gonna, we're just gonna use our default cube. Just hit Tab to edit. Hit A to deselect, and hit Control Tab. Click Edge. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark seams. You'll learn what seams are for in a minute. So for first, you want to hit Shift and right click, and uh, just right click the edges that I am selecting. And uh, you'll see why in a minute, just like I said. So that is great. So what we're going to do is we are going to, under Mesh Tools, if you don't have this toolbar, just press T and it'll appear. Hit uh, Under UV Mapping, hit Mark Seam. So now if you hit A, you'll see that what we marked is now red. So now uh, we want to hit A to select all. Well, first you want to open another window. So just at the edge of the window, just pull and another window should pop up. Change this view to UV Image Editor. <clears throat> and this is what you should come up with. So now we can unwrap it. So hit unwrap and unwrap again. This is what we saw. So the seams that we marked is where this cube was going to be cut and put into a 2D perspective. So let's say we didn't mark any seams, it would look very distorted. If you were to try that with a Suzanne monkey, just unwrapping it without marking seams, you'll see uh, it would it will look very it, it wouldn't even look like a monkey. I'll tell you the truth. So for now that we have this um, <clears throat> now that we have our uh, UV map, I'm just gonna rotate that, and we're just gonna save it. If we don't save it, once we, tr once, we once we start trying to texture paint it, it won't it'll just disappear. So just click new. Let's name that cube UV map and hit UV tech. Uh, click UV test grid and hit OK. This is what you should see. The test grid is for. Let's hit A to deselect. The test grid is for if we just if we grab this, um, we we can just see where it goes. This is basically let's control Z. This is basically a texture. This is a texture that you'll see in our cube if we go to edit mode. And there's our texture. The same that's over here is over here. You can change this picture to be something else, but that's not that's that's not the point of today. Let's hit seven to go into top perspective. And up here, let's just uh let's pick a color. That's great. And I just wanna hit my radius to be a little bit bigger. And once we color it, once we texture paint it, you'll see the square. So this this square is the top perspective. Now, if you if this was com something complex like the monkey, if you've seen the monkey it has lots of faces, you'll want to color everything, paint everything uh, white first, so that it'll all come up here. Then you can paint over it again, the brown color or whatever color you want the monkey to be. So let's do that right now. Let's hit strength. One, and we want to make this a white. So now we can just color over this, just like that, and let's just uh, paint everything. And everything that get, gets painted is what you'll see, is what you'll see get painted in the UV map mode. You can also paint directly onto the UV map. So let's open the, let's uh, widen our window a little more. And right here, if you see this icon with the paintbrush, if you just click that, the texture painting will come right over. So if we if we change perspective, let's see where right here. This is the white mark that I made over here. So let's paint a little more here. And there you see, that's what I did. The only um, well, there's no downfall to this. Actually, you just uh, choose whatever you like best. What you can also do is you can export this to Photoshop or GIMP. Uh, photo um, your uh, it's a uh, any photo photo editing software, and you can uh, paint it with more detail there and import it back to to um, Blender as a uh, of course a UV map, and that will transport right back to your object. Let's see. Okay, we got everything now, so we can just paint it a different color, and it'll show up. And that's all you need to know about texture painting. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please any questions please comment below. 
if you have any tips to share, like if uh, something I did could have been done easier or faster, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.